Hi everybody, today we will make an Edben Santa hat. So we will need some premium, Bernard premium white and Bernard premium red. So we will cast the machine, start and put your counter to zero, one in the back, one in the front like this for the first row. Take your time, don't put too much tension on your yarn because if you do, it's gonna be tack, tack, tack for the next row. There you go. When you reach 38 row, you will need this and you will go and grab and you follow the, the row here and you're going to go get this stitch. I know it's white, it's not easy to see but you get this stitch and you put it there. Push it down. And you will go and do that all the way. Push it down to knit it with the machine. I hope you can see it. You can. It's not easy, but I have to go get every stitch that I start with. It's my first row that I put it there, flip it there. Very important to push your work. Make sure you don't lose any. And take your time when you do this. If you miss a uh, one stitch, it's going to be too tight at the end. It won't work.
it's a little bit tighter at the end so be careful not lose any stitches and push it down gonna divide it in half okay so we finish with the, the black one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three right here I'm gonna go till I get there here and here now with the help of the crochet here I re remove all the stitch like this it's not easy easy you know but you have to and I use a crochet number three to do that see you go like this Turn it a little bit. I don't know if you see it correctly. No, you don't. Okay. I go, I grab the stitch like this and bring it back here. Go get the stitch and bring it back. It's harder at the beginning. After a while, you get loose on the machine. It's easier. So you pick 23 stitches like this. When you got 23, you're done. more to pick up oops oops losing a stitch Another one, almost done. Ooh. So I did the 
23 add up now yeah. so I did the 23 I put it on the neighbor like this to catch it with the yarn I will cut the yarn and change it to the red one now to do that I cut it I put it there and I will do a little knot here just to help it to start okay and put the red here under there to make sure that it grab the yarn correctly so I will go like this we'll do some flat panels so I have to pass through this one like this that and come back that's called flat panel knitting so I come here I have to get it down like this when it get down you come back and the counter doesn't work because the black peg or, or black crochet are in the other side so we will have to count in our head for this one so we do 10 like this okay already got four five six seven eight nine ten we right now start doing the decreasing for the decreasing you pass through like this come back and you take the stitches from here close it and you put it on the neighbor and you put your red yarn under this again put it there close the yarn feeder and come back we will do that till we get eight stitches wide So really don't need the counter for now. So if you use the prime you'll be okay. Because everybody is, is in the same boat right now. <laughs> no counter. Put it down. Put in a yarn feeder. And come back. Don't forget to close your yarn feeder because you could break a, a crochet very fast with this.
forgot to remove one stitch it's okay I will get it now a little bit harder because you have to go get it here but it's okay It's a little long processes, but it will look so cute on your little girl or little boy. And if you have problem to do this process, please let me know in the comments. I will do more video to help you guys. See, I lost a stitch here. I will fix that. I will fix that now, yeah. So if it's happened to you, It's okay, it's happening. Just go there and grab it like this. Get the other one, grab it. And you put it back on your crochet. See, it's there. I did it uh, out. <laughs> I did it the wrong side, but it's it's uh it's, it's fixable again. I will do it better at a minute. like this so if it's happened to you you will know how to fix it yeah so I will pick this one now and put on the next one yeah. put it here all together and I come back we'll fix after okay ah uh, just one to remove that's the last one I remove. After that, I will do some flat panel again. We're almost done. So I was saying, if you have problem to do the flat panel or my video, just put it in the comment. If you put uh, you don't like it, like uh, with the thumbs, uh, I don't get it. <laughs> if it's because you don't like the video or you don't like it's too hard for you you need something more easy just let me know okay will be simple okay now two we will do like back and forth it's gonna fix that after see it's, it's okay yeah we're gonna go back and forth for 30 row I already have two, three, four, 
Keep attention on it. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You're done. Time to cut the yarn. And you have to pass through the machine again to make sure that your project is all release from the machine okay it's gonna be easier to remove so with the yarn needle I will go pick all the stitches like this one after the other one there and we we'll just go like this and close it with the double knot. There. Now it's time to stretch your work a little bit. Now, see, you got your hello headband see that was a place that was I was adding a drop stitch we'll play with it it will be okay okay time to hide your yarn for the white one it's easy you just go and hide it between the two layer like this simple tick and you cut the excess, be careful not to cut your work. Okay, and for the red part, it's a little bit uh, important to, uh, to hide it. It's more important to hide it because it's red and you don't want it to, to be seen in your white. So we'll go like this to grab every stitch like this. Turning around, there, ah. so it's hard and you don't see it. Oh, I still have a white one here, we'll do the same, just hide it here. All I need now is to do the pom pom. For the pom pom, I use a clover pom pom maker, and I will use the size, uh, the green green one size. And just to let you know, the size of this machine, it's gonna be the size of the pom pom, just for those or I've never used that before. So I open, I put it all together like this. I open one side. And I will go and turn around it till it's full.
don't know if you say it correctly because there's a lot of sun today. I don't even see what I do. Almost done one side. And we have to do that both sides to make a very nice pom pom. Put a little bit of tension of your yarn on your yarn to get a nice pom pom. Okay, I did one side, and we will do the same thing the other side. Put both together, and you turn like this. done with this part cut the yarn I like to double my yarn but that, that's my choice I like to do that because it's easier for me to grab it so now it's time to cutting make sure you have a nice sharp scissors Okay, then you take your yarn like this and you go and do a, a knot. You see, I have the double, so I have a better grab to do the knot. That's, that's my way, but you don't have to do that that way. It's only the way I work. And I do another knot the other side just to secure it important to be tight because if you don't go enough tight you're gonna lose your your yarn so now to remove it from your pom pom you go like this and usually if you go like this it will remove and pom -pom, you got your pom pom Shake it a little bit. If you have to remove some uh, some little piece like this, or if you could keep it that way too, it's cute. Now, time to put it on the hat. I attach it first here. And then attach it another time on the hat just to make sure everything is secure. Because you know, kids, they pull on it, they play. And now I'm going to hide the white yarn in the middle of my pom-pom. except the red one and the red one 
we will hide it in here and try to keep it close to the edge because the edge will turn a little bit so it will hide it okay oh not right I could put it here too yeah I will put it here and going like this before I cut it and you're done with your little headband Santa hat so have fun I, I will put some picture of it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell to make sure you see every project I post have a great day <laughs> sorry so have a, have a great day, that's your little headband Santa hat. <laughs>